original judge of the Madras High Court here. Mr. Nader had stated once that if he would have not have joined engineering, possibly he would have been a lawyer. Uh, we the engineers, we stretch a bit and we say that if he would not have joined engineering, possibly he would not have ACL tech today. So now that we have ACL tech as well as Srinagar's law school as well. So in fact, we are really happy because it's a dream of Mr. Nadar that the educational institution of Srinagar Foundation should offer a quality law program. And to fulfill his dream, I think the members of the Srinagar University Chennai has taken a step forward uh, to start the Srinagar School of Law. Uh, I really thank you all to be here, to be a part of this occasion. Uh, just to give you a bit about the university, uh, Srinagar Foundation has three institutes of higher learning. Uh, Srinagar University, which has been recognized as the Institute of Eminence by the Government of India, is located in Noida. Two institutes are uh, namely SSN College of Engineering and Srinagar University Chennai are coexisting in this very campus, reputable school to 30 acre campus. In fact, Srinagar University Chennai is the youngest among the three uh, of the Srinagar Foundation, which has been legislated by the state government of Tamil Nadu uh, as the first state private university after a long 90 years to Srinagar University Act 2018. Accordingly, uh, from the academic year 2021-22, we have started the academic journey of this university with three schools, namely School of Engineering, School of Commerce and Management, and School of Science and Humanities. And we started with four undergraduate programs in 21-22. Currently, we are offering six undergraduate programs three in engineering, two in commerce, one in economics, we call it as BS economics with a focus on data science, one master's program in artificial intelligence and data science, and PhD programs in all the areas. Uh, in fact, uh, we have made our program such that the students have a lot of flexibility in terms of curriculum, in terms of uh, you know, taking subjects from different disciplines, we have a strong industry interaction. Uh, we have built in the internship uh, part as a part of curriculum. And I'm really happy to tell you that the founding batch of our commerce students, which is a three years program, they have just graduated in this 24. And uh, they have undergone internship in the industry, the 100% internship, and also they are placed in the industries. And I think uh, that's definitely a part of a proud moment for the university. As we said, that we keep advancing, we keep adding programs to our course. Accordingly, from the academic year 24-25, we have started with this Srinagar School of Law, and we have introduced an integrated BA LLB program, which is of five year duration. And the first batch of students are in, and we are here to celebrate this moment, to inaugurate the very Srinagar School of Law. I welcome you once again on this momentous occasion, and I think it's a very proud moment for all of us to have you over here. So we really are thankful to you to be with us today on this occasion, and I'm sure that we are going to have your continued support for the years to come, so that we can make this school, the School of Law, as a a quality education center to fulfill the dream of Mr. Nadar. Thank you very much. Earl Law Place, among the finest law schools in India. We are housed in a beautiful but clean campus with world-class indoor and outdoor uh, amenities. Our uh, faculty comes from the world's uh, uh, finest universities. They are engaged in uh, uh, creating new knowledge at the frontiers of their field, which in turn makes its way into our uh, classrooms as well. Now, if I may seek your indulgence to share a few thoughts on how we see the emerging 
landscape that has visual education and the impact he seeks to make. As we look into the future, what lies ahead will be uh, classified into these three heads. A, the known knowns, B, the known unknowns, and C, the unknown unknowns. First, the known knowns. As the size of the Indian economy grows, some core areas of law will come to assume way more significance than they have had in the past. If we are to wager, the most important of them will likely be the uh, members of the private law family. Contract, tort, property, unjust enrichment, uh, corporate law, uh, conflict of laws, to name a few. We'll need to find ways in which to train our lawyers in the state of the art in these fields. Which means we'll need to groom a whole new crop of scholars who will create new knowledge in these areas. The Shiv Naga School of Law seeks to put this front and in center. This will have us at the vanguard of uh, uh, innovation in these fields and also make our graduates highly sought after by employers in India and abroad. Second, the known unknowns. A fast-changing legal landscape fueled by growth of next-gen technology. Now, how does one handle a, a complex series of rules? These are likely to throw up. The way in which the problem is often uh, explained invites us to look into the future. But in our submission, though, such legal issues are Janus based, like the Roman god Janus with two uh, faces. These issues require us to simultaneously look into the past and the future. Of course, we will need to train lawyers who look into the future and keep pace with the tech curve. All the same, we will need our lawyers to master the legal past in the form of first principles of law. They will have to fall back on first principles of law to think innovatively about novel legal issues. This means that doctrine and legal theory are just as important from a purely futuristic point of view. Prestigious Sri Shivnada University Chennai, Sri Shikhar Malhotra, Trustee of Shivnada Foundation, Professor Dr. Shiv Swaminathan, please, who is going to give the closing remarks. Ms. Roshini. P. Chidambaram, arguably, in my view, one of the best contemporary senior lawyers in this country. <laughs> Today, we're on his contribution to governance and politics. Mrs. Chidambaram, senior advocate. <coughs> Justice Kumaresh Babu, Justice Kulashekan, senior advocates, members of the faculty, staff, parents of the law students, and my dear students. A good evening to all of you. There are two surprises to me today. When Srinath called me, I did not realize that I'll be visiting such a wonderful place. It doesn't look like a law school. true place where, where one can learn by their experience. Second is the presence of a galaxy of legal luminaries. It's an important day. In our country, we have 
numerous localities. But what's a problem that we are facing is that among the lakhs of lawyers today, which could approximately 30 lakhs, you could hardly count, uh, count down two lakhs of them who would contribute to the society. So what ails is a lack of quality legal education. Now, both Shikhar and Professor Bhattacharya were saying about medical education and engineering. There's a, obviously there's a difference between a lawyer, engineer, doctor, or chartered accountant. I must tell the students who are here, who are here that you have chosen the correct profession for more than one reason. A lawyer is a social engineer, a social doctor and social chartered accountant. You deal with the society and in comparison to any other profession. And for a young student like you, coming years of exciting time, we are in a changing world and this applies to the field of law. This is my observation. From a traditional and conservative legal field, we are moving to an area where it is controlled by real social issues in general and economy in particular. We have mounting cases that that is because of the reason that the legal community is one of the most conservative community ever. We have never been in introspection. We missed the core principle that we exist for the society. And therefore we are here to serve the litigant. Concentration has been made on procedural law, ignoring the substantive piece. Time has come for us to think deep. I am quite impressed by the vision with which the institution has been set up. When, was, when we were taken our tour of this beautiful building, places have been earmarked for not only discussion, but for interaction between student and the teacher which touches upon subject of psychiatry, psychology, and the social issues. A student will have to understand the law from a social perspective. The changes begin. And a specialty who have indeed taken the right decision. Law henceforth will not only evolve but also change. For the reason, <coughs> law is a combination of past, present, and future in which a student of law has a pivotal role to play. As it has been flagged off, I hope and trust that this college institute will concentrate on the rules of law and what is sort of the developments which are likely to happen in the near future. Constitutional law undergoes change from time to time. We will be seeing major thrust 
in the field of economy and therefore Lord touching upon the commercial education would, would flourish pushing the other education to the background. Law surrounding technology would, would take place leaving the conventional ones far behind. When society changes, so also the nature of litigation. When law changes, litigation would also follow. On, in the criminal field, you would have white collar offenses. Crime is touching upon women. Cyber crime. Online frauds. And on the civil field, we will have new contracts emerging, like blockchain contracts done through online, making the contracts secure, use of artificial intelligence more and more, and the problems arising there and then. Information technology, trademark act, you will be having new thrust both in the private law and public law. The haze surrounding public law will move towards the private law. With new, it means consumer dispute would increase. Environmental law will have a facet of private law. As a young student, you should be ready for the new challenges to come. I was just discussing with, with the Vice Chancellor and Dean. I have told them that I will be at their dear service whenever they require, require me to address the young students. Before I conclude, I would like to say one more thing about for, for, for the assurance of young girl students who are here in, in plenty. As I could see, this profession is slowly moving towards young, young lady lawyer. This applies to the field, to the personal law and also to the commercial law. In the coming year, there will be spread of matrimonial disputes for which your services will be very much required. Procedural law would give way. Removing the shackles for quicker justice. Lengthy trials would no longer be available. As we are, we are witnessing the amendments starting to the Civil Code of Civil Procedure. Comprehensive and procedural wrangles would be removed. Therefore, there will be quicker justice in a developing society. One would require more and more civil litigation, which I believe would certainly happen in a country like ours. <laughs>